What's up YouTube, it's your boy Douglas M. And uh, today this video is in regards to the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. And it's in regards to removing uh, apps to your SD card. And I am pissed at Samsung right now. Um, last night, you know, because I don't really download big games to my um, to my phone, you know, so I, I don't know. They say that this is also a problem for the S3, um, the Galaxy S3, but I wouldn't know. But, you know, I downloaded uh, King of Fighters, um, Asphalt 7 Racing, uh, Soccer Game, NBA Jam. Those are big games. And as you know, well, you may not know, I have the, uh, the Note uh, with 16 gigs. And it, it basically comes with, with all the bloatware and, and, and system software that it has to, that's preloaded with. It, although it's, it says it's 16 gig, you get about 11, 12 gigs after all that preloaded, you know, whatever is loaded on when you, get, when you, when you first turn it on. So you, you don't have 16 gigs, you have about 11 gigs. Now out of that, I've downloaded about, well, let me bring that up anyway. Hold on one second. So right there, you can see. Well, I'll zoom in a little more. I use five, about you know, five point oh five um, gigabytes of apps. That's you know, I guess mostly games, I guess. And um, and it says I have six gigs um, of available space. Well, that's not a lot of space to have. Well, that's why I said no problem. I, last night I went. I mean, well, this morning I went to Walmart, spent thirty dollars on a thirty-two gig memory card to find out that moving uh, apps to S to your SD card doesn't work with this note, which is ridiculous. I mean, wh what is this? What is Samsung uh, turning into Apple? I mean, that is absolutely unacceptable. I mean, look at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on app to SD. That's a popular one. Everybody knows that. Uh, app. So we're going to go in there. It's going to analyze. See? All right. So, okay. Uh, okay. Let me hit okay with that. That's to clear the, the cache or cache or whatever you call it. All right. Um, all right. So let me zoom out a little. All right. So up here is the movable. See, the, all those files are movable. And it, just to show you on my SD card, there's nothing there, right? But let me tell you, let me go a little further. It's, it left me a little note. It says this device does not have a real primary external storage or the primary external storage is emulated. Moving app to SD function may not be supported by this device. Now, I have been on the internet for about two hours. The answer is that Samsung purposely blocked this feature off of the note purposely and I believe the S3 as well I'm not sure on that but I'm not really making the video for the S3 I'm making it for the note the note can hold a 64 gigabyte uh, memory card so it's 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 able to, to to hold a lot of information so why in the world would that be blocked if anything that is crazy now you can store your videos on there you can store pictures and stuff like that it would no problem you know by either putting it on the memory card yourself you know and then putting it into your note but as far as moving apps there no go and i i, I am shocked i mean I, I i don't even know what to say i, I really don't well i've been reading some reviews um and some you know online blogs and stuff like that and so far what I got and, I, and I'm done researching at this point I, I give up I, I'm maybe you guys can help me that's why I'm making this video uh, there's an app called link to SD and I'm not well versed with it oh let me zoom out it's basically what it is asking you to do and I don't I, I think you have to be rooted I, I'm I'm about 80% sure, but I think some people did it without it being rooted, but you have to partition partition your um, your memory card uh, for this to work, and I haven't gone that far, um, but 
they so far that's the only thing that I'm hearing that works without rooting it so well maybe maybe you guys may know something else but let me just show you what it looks like so I click on that and see See, he says second partition not found. I didn't do that. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys can uh, pick up where I left off and maybe find a workaround without rooting it. But I really don't want to root this. I'm, I'm tired of doing that type of stuff. That that type of stuff to me is played out. We've come past that. We, we used to root our devices so it could look like an iPhone or so it could do some... Uh, you know extra functions that uh, I don't think we need to do we've come a long way I don't I don't I'm happy with what my device can do I don't need to to make it any more powerful I just need to do normal things like uh, let's say move my apps to an SD card just like every other device I've had anyway um, that's all I got man guys I need your help I know somebody knows Maybe what to do. Maybe the answer is it sucks for me or it sucks for us that have a, a, a 10.1 note. Then maybe that's the answer. I'm hoping Samsung will make an update um, to fix this because it's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely, un, you know, that's just unreal and unacceptable. So anyway, that, that again, that's all I got. Comment below, please, if you know any information on how to get this function going moving the uh, your apps to your SD card because I would really like to, to, to do that. I have a bunch of other apps that I would like to download without bogging down my internal memory in the note. Anyway, thanks for looking. It's your boy Douglas M and I'm out.